the suspension of uh, Munir Guazo as the head of the SEC is the biggest story. And we're all waking up to this morning. Of course, we went to bed with it last night, to be more precise. And then we're just uh, waking up to it again this morning to continue the market street. Rutumi Fakaijo is uh, uh, with Enterprise Stockbrokers and is uh, joining us via telephone uh, from uh, downtown Lagos this morning to see how the market is trading so, uh, Guazo's suspension. Uh, good morning, Rutumi. Thanks for coming through on the phone. Good morning, Boston. Uh, give us a sense of this news to you and the market uh, overnight and since we're open for business today. Uh, well, I think for me, the, the news has come to the market and uh, to a great extent is a root shock. But since for now, it's just suspension and uh, this subject to investigation. Uh, the market is not taking it too badly and the market is moving on irrespective of that news. Presently, the Osha index is at 0.23% positive, and we've done quite some good volume this morning. At least they're uh, close to almost um, uh, almost 30 billion era traded today. So I think uh, the market is not really in, in very much affected by the news. Um, look at the Guazos uh, tenure so far, uh, two and a half years thereabout in the saddle. Uh, give us a sense of what you uh, you think uh, he's done in, in, in two years plus and, and, and what the market has seen within this period, superintending the entire securities market, not just the, the equities market where you trade, but the bond market as well, the derivative market and others. Uh, well, I think uh, while uh, during his tenure, the, his tenure has been very impactful to the market in the sense that uh, we've seen the... Um, the uh, Proclamation of e dividend mandate and uh, the zeal with which he pursued that, and also the uh, materialization of certificates and uh, the improvement in bond, in bond trading, also in the market. I think, uh, to a great extent, he has really added value. But since uh, this will happen once in a while, and uh, since the market is just uh, uh, the present government is giving zero tolerance to issues like this. I think uh, the market is going to move forward in spite of the happening. Well, this month, as you, uh, you put it in your earlier comments and said, this is a, was a rude shock to the market. The head of uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission accused of financial uh, impropriety. Uh, this was similar uh, to uh, some of the issues around Aruma Ote when she was also the head of the SEC, isn't it? Uh, well, I think it's, it's, on, it's very much on becoming of the market because every time like this, we hear this kind of things coming up. But I want to believe that after this, we're going to see more uh, people, uh, more better leadership for the SEC, and uh, there won't be an end like this anymore. Uh, the SEC is currently has been running for without a board for about two years or, or, or slightly more. Uh, or more. Uh, what's your view on this? Why do we have uh, an, an important agency like the SEC without a board? I think this actually also is a wake-up call to the federal government to ensure that a uh, board is set up for every part uh, department and agencies. So at least uh, everybody will be above board and there will be check and balances for every officer in charge. I think uh, it's actually a wake-up call and uh, the federal government will need to do something very quickly about it. Thank you very much, Rotimi Fakaijo from Enterprise Top Brokers. Tomorrow is a public holiday here in Nigeria. The businesses and the financial markets will be closed, but it's going to be business as usual on Business Morning in 24 hours' time. Goodbye from Lagos, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.